In this video, I will show you how to do console commands on the PC if you're playing a Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition, which I'm playing on Steam. Um, and the console commands will allow you to type in the corner of your screen uh, different commands that will allow you to enter God mode, for example, or you can give yourself money, or you can give yourself attribute points, or skills, or talents. And I would recommend playing, if you're playing for the first time, to play without using console commands. But if you're playing a second time or a third time, and you want to just uh, make some different choices in the story, uh, maybe have different companions, or you forgot to slay one of the dragons maybe, and you just don't want to spend a lot of time playing the game. Uh, like when you're a low level, here we're running through the forest and there's wolves and all kinds of things attacking us, and it takes a lot of hits and sometimes you have to micromanage all the characters. It just takes a long time. And if you're not not really playing the game this time for the combat and you don't want to spend a lot of time on that, then console commands are really good to uh, give yourself a little boost. So maybe it takes fewer hits to kill an enemy. And I'll show you some of the things you can do. If you look up Dragon Age Origins console commands, or you can look up PC cheats, that kind of thing, you will find many sites that tell you how to do this, console commands. Um, this is just the first thing that came up, which was GameSpot, and they talk about how to do console command codes. Now, I will give you a little spoiler alert here. I followed these instructions and they did not work for me. Um, I know last time I played the game I did it this way and the console commands did work. So hopefully this way will work for you. Um, but if it doesn't then do not fear because there's another way to do it. There are actually three ways to do it, so you have many chances to try to get this to work. And I'll just, I'm not going to do this because I know it doesn't work uh, on my computer. And I'm playing Ultimate Edition on Steam, but I feel like this used to work doing it that way. Anyway, this says to make a shortcut to your desktop of dragonageorigins.exe. And you can just follow this path to find that folder and then you just create a shortcut and drag it onto your desktop then you would right click on that and there's a little target field and you would type this you can just copy and paste it at the end like what's already there ends in daorigins.exe and then make sure there's a space after that and then paste this with the little dash here and then if you have it on Steam, they're just saying another option would be go into your Steam library and right click on your game, choose properties, and in set launch options, you can just paste this again, dash, enable developer console. And uh, then I'll show you the method that worked for me, which is not listed here on the site. But no matter what you do, which way you do it, you have to modify your key bindings.ini file. And that is located in My Documents BioWare Dragon Age Settings. And then you have to find this line open console zero equals keyboard button. And then it's going to say grave afterward. I'm not sure why, but you would delete grave and then change it to the button that you want to press in your game to open the command console. And I will show you how to modify this uh, file. It's easier to understand if you just see somebody do it. Before I show you how to modify the key bindings file, let me just very quickly show you 
some of the things you can do with the command console, just so you know if you're interested in, in going through this process or not. Um, the reason I tried it the first time is because I just wanted to do a quick god mode for just one battle, which I think was with Bronca, um, with the Anvil of the Void. I just couldn't beat her, and I tried many times, and finally I said I just need god mode to get through this, and <laughs> maybe someday I'll try it again. And you can do that with the console commands, god mode. You will still take damage, but you will not die. And you just would hit your little command console button, whichever one you decide, and then type this in. Um, you can also heal your party. You can kill all the creatures in the area. Um, just a lot of things. And you can read through for yourself. You can also give yourself money. You can change yourself into a mage or a warrior or a rogue. You can give yourself money, which is very nice if you want to buy some items. And that's done in copper, so you have to type in a very big number because 1,000 is just one piece of gold. So um, you just type in a really big number and you'll have plenty of money. Okay, so let me show you how to modify that key bindings file. In File Explorer, you will follow this path, Documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, Settings, and in here we find keybindings.ini, and you can open that in Notepad. You can right-click to choose a Notepad to open it with, and you're going to find a line called Open console zero equals keyboard button. Now, I've already modified mine, but what it will look like is this. It says grave. And um, you just delete grave. A lot of people use that tilde squiggly line button because that's you have to choose a button that's not used in the game for anything else. And you can see here, you know, all the numbers are used and a lot of the letters are used, so um, there aren't too many available buttons, but you could use that tilde button or, amazingly enough, just the letter G is not used in the game, so you could use that. And so I'm using G, and then you just save and close that and then we'll go on to the next step. This is the third method, and this one is the most intimidating. It's really not that bad, though. And this is what ultimately worked for me to enable console commands. And I found this information in Steam Community. And I think if you just look up console commands DA Origins Launcher.xml, because that's uh, the file you're going to be working with, you'll probably find the information about how to do this. And um, I'll just go over this quickly. Um, so, this method, you're going to find your DA Origins Launcher.xml file. And you follow this path here. And um, it's in your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dragon Age Ultimate Edition, Data. And then you're going to open that DA Origins Launcher.xml file in Notepad. And then you're going to find this line, or you can find the subsequent line because that's the one you're actually dealing with. They just want to make sure you're in the correct area of the code. And there's this line, true action equals execute, file equals, <laughs> I don't know coding at all, so I don't know what this means, binaries, directory, da origins, .exe, path, binaries, I, I, you know, I'm not even going to read this. And then it ends auto quit equals true. And then they're saying just before auto quit equals true, add this arguments equals enable developer console. And there's some 
quotation marks and there's a little dash here so you probably want to copy and paste the, all this and then they're saying in the end the line should look like this and um, so I'll show you I did this already I followed that path to the data file and here's da origins launcher .xml. now before you do any of this copy this file and create a backup of it so you have the original pristine version of the code in case you really mess things up um, so I will you will go into your launcher I'm gonna go into my backup just because this is the original so you can see what it looks like before you modify it and you can just go in here and copy this line that you're going to deal with rather than searching through this whole bunch of code and just do find and you can paste that and it will bring up the line it's uh, there's only one instance of it here and this is what they're talking about and they said before auto quit equals true you want to paste in this arguments equals enable developer console so you could copy that and just paste it in there I guess and make sure you have the spaces that you need yeah a space there and a space there and then you would just save that and you have a new da origins launcher .xml file and this did work for me uh, I'm not gonna save this because this is just my backup okay so um, hopefully you can find this information for yourself and if you can't just write a comment and I can actually you know what I'll post the link when I post the video how about that before we go into the game and look at our command console let me point out something very important here it says you may not see the console or what you are typing this is normal and that is um, the case for me it's invisible and that makes it a little bit difficult when you're typing in these commands because some of them are quite long and then if it doesn't work you don't know if it's because you have a typo or because it's just not working um, one way to know is when you hit your button your G button or your tilde button or whichever button you chose um, it should kind of freeze up the character and everything on the screen so you shouldn't be able to run around or anything because the command console is open so if you hit your magic button and then you're trying to type and things are happening on the screen that means it's probably not working so okay I'm gonna go in there there is a mod where you can see the command console and I'll show that to you but in case you don't want to install a mod you can use it uh, invisible and I'll show you that really quickly and I'll just find something that's easy to type and uh, let's try this because my character is a warrior this command will turn me into a level 2 mage if I type run script wizard which I think I can type without uh, making any typos so let's go try that out okay let's test out our console commands and um, so I you can see I'm in the game I can move around now I'm going to hit the G key and I was going to type run script wizard and see as soon as I start typing you can see all that weird uh, letters and numbers that come up at the top of the screen that means it's working okay 
So I typed run script wizard, which ran the console code to turn me into a level two mage. And um, that worked. Now it was a little bit tricky typing. Oh, you have to hit enter too after you type your command. And then you'll be able to move again in the game. Um, so it was a little bit tricky typing that uh, because I couldn't see what I was typing and I wasn't sure if I was making a typo or not. So now let's go see um, how to install a mod that will make the text visible as you're typing. Now we are in Nexus Mods and uh, if you don't know anything about that you can look at my other videos to see how to use this site to get mods. Um, so I'm in the most popular for uh, Dragon Age mods and on page one we find make console commands visible. This is a very popular mod. And um, It says here to put, after you download it, put it in Documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, Packages, Core, Data. And in a previous video I told you there were only two ways to install mods, and this is basically one of them, but instead of putting it in the override folder, you put it just one level higher in the data. You don't. There's, you just put it in the data folder instead of going into the override folder. And so we'll download that. I downloaded the mod to this data file and I'm just showing you um, this is the override folder where a lot of the mods go, but this one is different because they want you to put it in the data folder. And um, so it's here and I have to extract the files. And it looks like it's, there's a readme and here's the actual file fonts.erf and you could probably just leave it like this but it looks like there are .erfs here so I'm just going to put that .erf and just delete that because I don't need the readme file. Alright now let's go back in the game and see if we can view what we are typing. When I go into the game, I will try this other command to give myself some money. And you would type run script zz underscore money and then a number and 1000 is one gold. All right, we'll see if I can remember that. All right, let's see if uh, our command lines are visible now. If I hit G, yes, I don't know if you can see, but in the upper left here, there's like a little sideways carrot thing. Now if I type run script zz underscore money, and I'm just getting this from that list of uh, command codes. Money um, 100,000. Alright, it says success. And now let's see. Um, I don't, I see 10 gold. Is that all it is? Or maybe I typed too big a number. Let's see. Run script ZZ money. What if we just do like nine 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 
Nine, nine. Oh, received 99 gold. Okay, so. Yeah, you can give yourself some money that way. Too bad I can't go shopping at the moment. I'm in the wilderness. Another command you can run is run scripts add xp and I'm not sure what the numbers are but let's put 999999 okay and that gave me a lot of experience and now I got the level up plus and I have 66 points to spend on my stats here and two specializations, though I have not unlocked any, so I can't use those. And, uh, gosh, I can do all kinds of things. Well, not that many, I guess. And, uh, ooh, I've got a lot of points here. Uh, so I, c well, yeah, if I go back and bring these up, I can, so anyway, you can, um, do that if you really want to cheat and have some additional skills and stats earlier in the game. Hopefully those console commands will help you in the game, yeah, especially if you're playing through again and just want to have fun. Maybe just do some story things. And I will um, post some other videos about mods and things like that. <laughs> I didn't arrange my new level up attacks down there, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe Alistair will just take care of everything. Anyway, um, check out my other videos for other mods. 